a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you the chances of the ruling People Democratic Party in the September 21st gunship election in those states receive yet another major boost, among them with the defection of hundreds of members of other parties. <laughs> My people, it don't set. All right, guys, before I go bring the matter, I go like welcome on a special to my wonderful channel, Reality Latest Gist. As they give you a back to back update and information, as they hot. So, if today is the first time of watching, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video. To all amazing subscribers, thank you so much for joining us. So, guys, let's proceed. The chances of the ruling People Democratic Party in the September 21st Gospel election in Edo State have received yet another major boost on Monday with the defection of hundreds of members of other parties. Those who decamp are notably from the All Progressive Congress, the Labour Party and the New Nigeria People Party and other fringe parties joining PDP in Edo State. So the defection occurred when the PDP led by Governor Gordon Obaseki, the party governorship candidate Dr. Aswi Hodalo, his running mate Osara Deoji and other chieftain of the party held campaign rallies at Ego and Boboka local government area of Edo State. In another related development, the PDP strongly won the All Progressive Congress over increased violence in Edo State, <laughs> declaring that no one has monopoly of such violent activities and that there could be consequences. The PDP called on the APC in Edo State to be ready to face the full impact of the wrath of the people of Edo State if they continue in their violence attack and harassment of innocent citizens of Edo State. The party also called on women in Edo State to rise against Neto Adam Sochibole for his anti-women utterances. Meanwhile, speaking at Olua Primary School Field Duselu, venue of campaign rally in the local government area, Governor Gondi Obasiki declared that he has done his best for the state and that Aswe Hodalo and his running mate Osaro Deoje will continue from where he stopped when he hand over to them come November 12. Obasiki said that he wanted the state to move forward. I'm not backwards. So looking at the people here, that he can see a lot of youth because he's not surprised that Ego is a home of youth. So they have the University of Bini and Bini Technical College in that Ego. So he's well assured that September 21st is the most important day, the most important election in those states. So he's not bothered that they're not going to get votes from Ego. <laughs> He said they are going to get much vote from Ego, but he urged people not to make the mistake for the sake of continuity that they must vote for PDP. <laughs> the Asi Holalo is youth friendly, and all the lawyers in his company are young lawyers. Governor Gordon Obasiki urged the youth to go out early and vote and protect their vote. Earlier, the PDP chairman in Ego, Chief Idehe, welcomed the governor and the candidate. He said that the people of Ego are fully ready for election and they will produce the best results in the state come September 21st. The council chairman, Honorable Ehi Obumudia, while welcoming the governor and candidates, said as we hold the laws of the we continue with the good works Obasiki has started in Edo State as Ego is fully PDP. Notwithstanding, Comrade Odio Olaye, the chief fan of PDP in the area and the chairman of Nigerian Labour Congress, charged the rally with glorious and melodious songs as the people were overcharged with joy. Said nobody can ring election in ego, adding that PDP members cannot be intimidated by any police or anyone else. He predicted that ego will be won by PDP and also OJ, that PDP will be declared winner in ego. The Deputy Majority Leader, Edo State House of Assembly, Honorable Natasha Igbenedio, said for Edo State to move forward, that Edo must vote Aswe Ihodalo and Osaro Doje. He said Ego has already settled for PDP, that the local government is fully united for PDP, and Ego will not fail. Also, Honorable Bermuda Ifuloyi, Commissioner for Digital Economy, said Ego is 100% for PDP. He enumerated the project done and completed by Governor Gordon Obaseki administration, noting that there is every need to vote PDP. As as we OJ, we complete all the projects still going on in Edo State. The Director General of the PDP Governorship Campaign Council, Honorable Matthew, charged the people to vote PDP 
and they shouldn't make the mistake like the one of 2023 during the national election. Also, the PDP state chairman, Dr. Tony Ezebami, thanked the people of Ego for coming out in mass to welcome them. And he also charged them to come out in mass to vote PDP. He said the high point of the rally was when hundreds of defectors led by Bright Omori from the ADP, the former State House of Assembly candidate of the party, declared that the choice before the people is that of light and darkness. <laughs> he said that they joined the party to ensure PDP wins the election. And he explained that him and his structure joined the People Democratic Party because the candidate is the best. Also, Prince Igbinobo, the former APC chief then said he led his people to PDP because Aswe Ihodalo is mentally, physically and academically sound. The Labour Party members from Ward 9 joined the party too, claiming that the election is between PDP and PDP because there are no other candidates in the race. <laughs> My people don't be small boss bozo. At the Western Boys High College in Igboba Hill, the video of the rally in Iboboka local government area, home of the running mate Osarodoje, turned to a carnival at the arrival of the governor, the governorship candidate, and the campaign team. The council chairman, Honorable Henry Osayende, assured that Iboboka is 100% for PDP. Because of Osarodoje, while illuminating his various achievements, he declared that PDP is a progressive party. And he assured the governor and the candidates of PDP 100% vote in Iboboka local government area. Notwithstanding, the Commission of Physical Planning, Honorable Soke Omo, also stated what had been said earlier and he assured that PDP will win Iboboka, advising the people to come out in mass to vote the umbrella and defend until PDP is announced winner. Honorable Henry Okunerobo, the former majority leader, Edo State House of Assembly, said the people of Iboboka are fully ready to vote and defend their votes. Now, Governor Godwin Obasiki said that. He didn't go to Iboboka to campaign, but to thank the people and celebrate them. <laughs> he then listed the several projects in the area and he concluded that only one government cannot finish all the job. So he has brought Asui Hodalo and Osarodi Oje. He assured them that the election would be peaceful and nothing to fear. He enjoined them to go out and vote on 21st. He would alone his part thank the people for showing good example as good hosts to the many companies in the area. He said others will soon become like it. He enjoined them to go out on election day and vote. Also, Sarodoje in his speech raised two songs and the venue was charged. He then challenged them that in 2020, Iboboka knows what they deliver, but he wasn't on the ballot. Now in 2024, that he is on the ballot saying that he have left the rest for them. He drew a difference between PDP and the others. He asked them to come out early and vote for the PDP. <laughs> My people be sports. Nomabo, the former chieftain of the APC in War 10, said he was very happy to join the PDP because of their youthfulness, unlike the APC where they have the old men who don't want to retire. <laughs> he said Obasiki has done well for War 10. Iboboka, which is one of the riverine area by providing security, providing jetty park to ease transportation and electricity in the people. He said he led his people to PDP to work and ensure PDP win the forthcoming governorship election. My people, the bus boast too much. The talk said the people of Edo State have had enough from the APC and they will use every legitimate means allow in democracy to defend themselves by directly and physically confronting and resisting the APC in their desperate plot to derail the September 21st, 2024 governorship election in those states. Hey, hey, my photo be small while now. So, I guess I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in our comment section. I would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us.